Hi, I'm Captain Chris here with the tip of the day for shore power plugs, shore power cables. So when you go to the marina and you're trying to figure out how to get this pushed in and twist locked into the shore power pedestal on the dock, first thing you want to pay attention to is the plug itself. This has one L, like the letter L, see right here, so that means 110 volts. If, and this one does not, but if it had two L's, that would be 220 volts, 50 amps. This is one L, that's 110 volts. You would push it in and twist lock it, and then use the strain relief collar to keep it from wiggling out as your boat moves back and forth with the wind and the tidal current. If you don't use the strain relief, it might wiggle back and forth, and if that happens, then you might have a short circuit and you'll burn out your plug. And you can see that this is burned out pretty bad. And you can see this other one is starting to go bad, but it has not failed completely yet. So I'd like to point out, when you pull into a marina, you make your reservations. They want to know if you need 110 volts, 30 amps, or 220 volts, 50 amps. And that would tell them what kind of shore power pedestal that they would put your boat in to go along with that shore power electrical connection. Last, let me put out the fact that if you're in a strange marina that might have two 110 30 amp plugs, you might have something like this, and it will go to a 220 volt 50 amp plug like that, and I'm showing this one device, but there's another device that's exactly the opposite. This has got a male connector on it, and it splits down to two female connectors. You can also get the opposite with two male 110 volt plugs with a, a 220 volt 50 amp female connector, and this is called a splitter, a Y or a splitter. So hopefully this will help you get through your cruising day when you order electricity for the appropriate slip that you rent in the marina. If you've got any questions, ask Captain Chris or come visit us in Vero Beach, Florida for our Introduction to Boat Systems classes in September and in October of 2023. Remember, ask Captain Chris.